Hello teachers. Let's talk about feedback. If you're like me, I teach art and getting feedback from my students is very important. It's also very important for them to express um, their pride, their progress in any given artwork. But doing live critiques, sometimes it's like pulling teeth. If you um, know what I'm talking about, you know that several students are very shy and they just don't like to speak up. So what I found is that I like to do critiques on a digital format. What that means is I will create a critique um, in some kind of share board. And here I'm showing you guys one using Padlet. Now, as you guys know, we are in quarantine as of May 2020. And my students um, have been creating artwork from home and I wanted them to show off their artwork so that other students could see it and they could comment on them and give them feedback. So over here, I basically just created a Padlet board. And in this Padlet board, I gave them the title, which is their best artwork from quarter four while we've been quarantined, and some basic instructions on how to add things to the Padlet. And here they're showing some of their best artwork that they created this particular quarter thus far. And as you guys can see, they um, are able to not only add their pictures with their artwork, but they're also able to add some kind of comment stating what they like the best about it, what they're proud of, and they can also comment on that uh, which their students have done. So over here you have comments that I have left and comments that the students um, left for each other. So this is a really, really great tool, not only in quarantine, but also um, during the school year, because as we all know, some students just don't like to speak up, but we do want them to express themselves. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create a quick Padlet board for you guys to put on your Canvas class. Now, the first thing you gotta do is basically create a free account with Padlet. At this time, if I'm not mistaken, Padlet allows you to create three boards for free. And if you upgrade to their paid account, they will um, allow you to make an unlimited amount of boards. Over here, what I, I, what I have is several boards that I have created on my own, as well as um, some others that I have participated in with other teachers. So having created my account, I'm just going to go right here where it says plus make a Padlet. And it gives me um, several options for how that Padlet board is going to look. So if you are doing, I don't know, some kind of history based assignment where students have to put events on a timeline, I think this timeline Padlet um, layout would be fantastic. Um, if you were doing, ge uh, not geometry, geography, maybe you might want to use this map based Padlet. Now, I am an art teacher and a design teacher, so typically I use Padlet um, so students can post their artwork. So typically I go for the wall layout or I go for the grid layout. In this instance, I think I'm going to go with the wall, so I'm going to go to select. Awesome sauce. And as you can see, it is totally empty right now. So I have to start adding some information. So over here, I'm going to give my Padlet a title. So maybe this one is going to be, um, what have you been doing during quarantine? Been doing during quarantine. As a dismissal um, discussion with my students, I suppose. And over here in the description, I just want to give them some basic um, instructions for how to re reply. So I might tell them, click on the pink plus sign to add a post to this Padlet, include a picture and a statement explaining how you have stayed productive during quarantine. Oops. All right, cool. Now, I really hate this wallpaper. I think it's hideous. So I'm going to scroll down now that I finished my um, very quick directions here. 
and I'm going to select a new pa uh, wallpaper and a new color scheme. You are able to add your own pictures on here, but I think um, I'm just going to go with one of their gradients for this particular um, Padlet board. And you know what? I like the yellow. It looks very hopeful. Oh, never mind. It looks hideous. Um, let me go with another gradient. Something hopeful. Something that tells us this quarantine is almost over and we can go back to life as we knew it. That looks pretty. Okay. So I selected the gradient that I want as my background. Just to show you guys, there are several different textures as well that are very cool. Sometimes I like to use this one that looks like a cork board because it kind of looks like my students are pinning things um, to like a message board. And I think actually, I'm actually going to leave it. I think I like that. So I'll just use the texture instead of the, the solid color, the gradient, etc. All right. Now I have a color scheme. I can go with the light one or the dark color scheme. Oh, in this case, it didn't actually change, but if I actually selected a solid color, I believe you guys would see the change. Let me go back real quick and show you. Nope. Okay. Never mind. All righty. So I'm going to leave that as is. I can select different fonts um, that I want my directions to be seen in. So I think maybe I'm going to go with um, this comic style font and I will now um, start giving some directions to the Padlet for how students are going to post their um, pictures and how they can like them, how they can share them, how they can comment with them. So if the student has a Padlet account, and um, typically I do have my students create Padlet accounts at the beginning of the school year because we use Padlet quite a lot, um, their name would show up above each post. If they don't have an account, it's okay. They can still participate. Instead of a name, it would just say anonymous, but they can always add their name in the comment. For new post position, I'm going to leave it at first so the very brand new post will show up at the top. And I definitely want them to comment on each other, so I'm going to toggle the comment button. And now here, this is pretty cool. If I want to give them a grade for their post or how many comments they have made, I am definitely able to do that. This will not sync automatically to Canvas or your gradebook. You would have to like grade it manually. However, it's still a pretty cool um, option that Padlet offers you. I think for right now, I'm just gonna give them the opportunity to like their post um, when they're commenting on each other. And I don't wanna have to um, look for each person's like post to require I'm sorry, to approve it, so I'm just going to leave that off. I do, however, want to filter for profanity because we all know what high school students are like, and I don't want them to see bad words in the post. So I'm going to click Next now that I'm done with my directions and my settings. All right, cool. Now, before I start posting on here, there's a few things that I want to do because I want to share this Padlet board on my Canvas page. So. I am going to go right here to the settings, it, just to show you guys again, the settings look like um, a gear. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Let me go to share. All right, perfect. That's what I was looking for. And in share, I have a few things that I need to change. So right now it says visitors can write, which is good. That means that my students are going to be able to add their post to it, not just view it. I can also change those options. So um, I can make this public if I want other people to see it. I can make it password protected. Um, at, this, at this point in time, I'm just going to keep it secret because I mean nobody other than my you know students need to see it. Under visitor permissions though, I'm going to change it to can write to can read. That means they can just read what other people have posted. Can write means they can add their own posts. And do, 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 can edit, can view and add posts, edit and prove other posts. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it at can edit because I want them to give have a little bit more um, power. So, all right, cool. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go back to share. 
and there's a few ways that I can put this particular Padlet board on my canvas. The first way that I'm going to show you is basically just copying the link. So I'm going to copy this link and in my canvas class, here's my practice makes perfect module. I can go to the plus sign next to the module and I can select add external URL and basically just paste in that link. And under page name, this might be Padlet. Um, what are you doing during quarantine? All right, so let's test it. This is a direct link to the Padlet. Sometimes with Canvas, I think you kind of have to click on the name of the link to take you there. So if you don't see it, you just have to click right here. But that worked perfectly. So my students can now just go to that link directly. They would click on that plus sign right here to add a post. And then they can basically go and add whatever they want. So under title, maybe instead of a title, they might put their name. So let's say my name is Liz Abaya Student. And I can't even spell my own name. All right, and underneath, I would put my comment. What am I doing during quarantine? I am making YouTube videos during quarantine. And I need to learn how to spell. Then I have a few options for things I can add. So under upload, I can go and um, select a picture to upload to the Padlet. I can go and add a link from Google. Um, if the, I don't know if I want to offer an example from there. And then I can also um, film myself. I can include a selfie. Um, I have a lot of different options for what I can add to this Padlet and that's really fantastic. Typically though, I just have students upload a picture and it works really well. So that's my first post. Hopefully my students would then come and add a comment like, that's great, Miss Abaya. And if they really like my post, they can just go and like it. Okay, so it's really, really easy. The other way that you guys can add the Padlet to your canvas would be to go back to the modules. And if you wanted to give students some kind of grade for their participation in the Padlet, you could add it to an assignment. And this is how. I click on the plus sign and I'm going to go to add a new assignment and this one's going to be called Padlet Assign just so I don't get it confused. And as you guys know, this is now an empty shell so I have to click on it in order to actually add the um, directions. So I click the pencil sign to edit and now when I go back to my Padlet board instead of in the and i'm still in the share um part of my padlet so instead of selecting copy link to clipboard what i'm going to do is i'm going to select embed in your blog or your website and i'm basically just going to copy this whole line of code right here so that when i go back to canvas oops wrong one when i go back to canvas this is my rich content editor I can basically go to the um, embed thumbnail, which looks like a little flag right here. Insert edit media, then select embed and paste all that line of code that I basically just um, copied. And this is how the Padlet is going to appear when students see it. Now, let's say for every single post that a student does, I'm going to assign them 10 points. So I would just go and add the number of points. Um, submission type, I'm basically just going to select no submission because I'm going to see the actual posts within the Padlet board. And I would basically just go and save it. All right, perfect. And this is how it looks. So the great thing about Padlet is that it's going to update automatically the more that students start adding to it. So let's say another student comes here and adds their own post. 
they're all going to see it wherever they are, even if they're accessing it through their cell phone, through a computer, if they're in England, if they're in Florida, like we are, it doesn't matter. They're all going to see it um, in real time. So that's a really, really great way um, for students to share feedback in a way that's going to be safe for them because they can share without putting themselves in front of the class and having to speak up because we all know some students don't appreciate that. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you guys give Padlet a try. I'm going to go now and basically start looking at all these amazing posts that my students have left of their artwork during quarantine. And if you guys have any questions, you know how to reach me. Bye-bye.